This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. The next night on Raw, it's an underrated classic of that time. It's Steve Austin versus Mankind. Now, remember, both of these guys a year prior were in WCW. Not the case here. Uh, Vader was scheduled originally for this match, but he got hurt the night before. And this is one of the early examples of the WWE main event style that would be to come. Uh, there's brawling. There's a lot of time outside of the ring. Austin ultimately gets the win by DQ after the executioner, AKA Terry Gordy under a hood interferes, but go out of your way to check this out. I mean, we know later Austin and mankind are going to have some classics, but that's two years later uh, here where they're both getting their feet underneath them as WWF characters. This is a really, really good match. Uh, and then we would see Austin interfere in the middle of an Owen Brett match on raw, which starts to plant the seeds of bulldog and Owen breaking up as well as Owen and Austin aligning against Brett. Do you think there was ever talk of a, a bulldog Brett tag team against an Owen Austin tag team? Oh, sure. There was discussion about it because it had been a great, I think it'd be a great booking. Yeah. Great chemistry. The match quality would have been superb without question. So in your, in your house, it's time is our next pay-per-view. It's the last one of December 96. Uh, we just recently covered on something to wrestle and you see Austin on the show, but in order to see him, he's uh, not in a match. He's interfering in Davey and Owens tag title defense against fake razor and fake diesel. Uh, but Davey boy and Austin get into it again. I'm only mentioning this because even though he's not on the card, they're keeping him in front of the audience. They yeah. want to make sure that he's at the forefront of your mind. Uh, we got to keep him in front of you. He's got to be prominent. And the next night on raw Vader and Austin open the show. Uh, so as a note here for the past few months, whenever there's a pay-per-view the next night on raw, who's in the very first segment, stone cold, Steve Austin. That tells you something, man. Yes, it does. A quarter hour ratings, uh, uh, have indicated that we like him. Yes. And we'd like to see more of this guy. We're not sure what he's doing. We're not sure where he's going, but God damn, we're enjoying the hell out of it. And so a lot, as I said earlier, when I was trying to find that word vicariously, there's a lot of men, 18 to 49 that shave their head and grew goatees because they could, they wanted to live vicariously through that beer drinking, you know, hell, 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 hell bending or whatever, uh, uh beer drinking, character. hell raising all that deal. He wasn't limousine riding, no jet flying, he was, but it was the same thing. It's just different vehicles. Steve was driving a pickup truck and people could identify with him. They could identify with being pissed off at your boss. I'm not making enough money. I'm working too many hours, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I worried about taking care of my family, all those things. People could understand that. And Austin had always had a very subtle sense of desperation that it's hard to, uh, encapsulate and describe, but he, that's this match has had this keen sense of urgency and it made him feel vulnerable without begging and scraping and backing up and all those things that a heel would do. Uh, he didn't have too many reverse gears. And then when he tried to do it as a heel, it didn't work, but he, he was just, uh, 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 he had, we had found what we were looking for. And now it's just a matter of getting to that promised land and, and getting Steve to the top of the card, uh, and making him champion at some point sooner than later. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.